the first thing you've got to do is take off the old medium that's already on your plate. So now you make sure you clear up your space. You should have your 96 well plate in front of you and your drugs here. And what you should also have is a discard plate next to you. First thing, make sure that the volume on your pipetta is adjusted. You want to take out 100 microliters. Typically, that's the amount in each well of this microtiter plate. So press down, making sure all the tips are in. And be careful, make sure that you check that all the tips are in tight. Don't touch this end. Be careful by adjusting it only at this end. Now, take the lid off. Bring your discard plate close. And take off the medium very carefully. And chuck it in the discard plate. Do the same column A, column B and column C. You need to be careful with your pipetting here because you don't want to touch the tip right to the bottom. Just put it on the edge of the well. This is a flat bottomed 96 well plate so if you try and hold it to the edge of the well that should be fine. The other thing to remember is that you have to be quick about this. Okay. Once you've taken the medium off, replace the lid and keep this multi-channel pipette aside and now transfer to an ordinary Gilson pipette. Adjust the volume to 100 microliters and now add the various drugs or your control medium into your plates. So for example, if I start with controls where you're adding medium alone, there's no drug here. So simply take your 100 microliters and keep adding it to each well, like so. Okay, so do the same with drug A, making sure that you change the tip essentially using the ejector, discard the tip and use a fresh tip for each drug. When you've finished, you need to put this plate in the incubator, the CO2 incubator for about 24 hours. So once you've finished adding the drugs, make sure you put this plate in the CO2 incubator, which is right here. And that's you. Done.